Hello everyone. Today I will be teaching from the book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 3 on the five lamps with oil and the five lamps that had no oil. Now in the book of Luke chapter 12 and verse 35, Jesus said, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. In the, and now, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 14, Jesus is talking about the armor of God. Your loins girded about you with truth. So he is establishing those that he are talking to have their lights burning and also have the truth, which Jesus Christ is the truth. John chapter 5 and verse 35, Jesus is talking about John the Baptist, and he said John was a burning light. Now, Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 1 establishes the word with us that the burning lamp is salvation. Because John was a forerunner of Christ. He was to prepare the way for the Messiah. And John came baptizing. It was, a it was salvation because people got saved and they repented of their sins. So, John was a salvation. But he also let those that were coming know... Uh, now, John was preparing the way for Christ in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 3. Now, in Matthew chapter 3, verses 6, 7, and 8, we see that John is baptizing. Now, in verse 11, John says that he baptized you with water, but he that cometh after him would baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, and that's Jesus Christ. So, I'm establishing that the burning lamp was salvation. Isaiah chapter 62 and 1 establishes that word with us that it is salvation now for the oil church this is the good stuff right here whoo glory leviticus chapter 24 and verse 2 tells us that the pure oil the olive oil had to be beaten for the lamps to burn continually we all know that jesus is that olive tree Romans chapter 11, verse 16 and 17. In the book of Psalms chapter 52 and 8, Je and I'm sorry, not Jesus, but David said he was like a green olive tree in the house of God. And also read Jeremiah chapter 11 and 16. So Jesus is the pure olive oil. And the oil had to be beaten for our lamps, for us to have salvation. And not only just to be saved, but this was a continual thing. It was everlasting life. And that oil had, to, that olive had to be beaten. Now, in the book of Isaiah chapter 53 and 5 establishes the word that Jesus was beaten. In the book of John chapter 19 and 1. We see that Jesus was beaten for us. He was wounded. He suffered everything, church, that was supposed to come upon us. He took it all for us. Who glory. Thank you, Jesus. Now, church, the five that had oil have salvation because Jesus is salvation. And uh, the five that doesn't have any oil have lamps, but they are in darkness. Because without any oil, you have no light. And if you have no light, then you are in darkness. And the Bible tells us in uh, Matthew 25 that the five were foolish. Ecclesiastics chapter 2 and 14 says the fool walketh in darkness. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 2, the five were foolish. Now in the book of John chapter 8 and verse 12, Jesus is talking. He said, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. That oil that was in those lamps, that made those lamps burn, that is inside of each and every one of us, is everlasting life. Jesus is that everlasting life. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man goeth to the Father but by Him. Now, church, that's the good stuff right there. Now, in Genesis, here we go, church. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 6, God said, let there be light. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me and he said, Donna, where did God uh, promise everlasting life? And I, I said, I don't, I know in the, in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Holy Spirit said, no, God promised everlasting life from the beginning of the world. Titus chapter 1 and verse 2. In hope of eternal life. God promised before the world began. 
Woo! I don't know about you, but I love the promises of God. Because when God makes a promise, His word does not come back void, does it, church? He said He promised us eternal life from the beginning of the world. Because John chapter 1 and 4 says, In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Woo, church, do you see that amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God? Those that had the oil that caused the lamps to burn continually. The oil, the olive tree that was beaten so we could have salvation. That our light would never go out. That we were promised everlasting life through this light, through Jesus Christ. Church, in the book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 23, in the city, in the new city, Jerusalem, that's coming down from heaven, has the glory of God. And the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. Church, why is He the light thereof? Because He's the oil that was beaten to be for the lamps to burn forever, to have everlasting life. This is God making His promise with you in the book of Revelation 21 and 23. He promised you on the first day when He said, Let there be light. He promised everlasting life. Woo! And He's a keeping His word because the glory of God did lighten it and the Lamb is the light thereof. Woo, glory. Oh, it don't get no better than that, church. It don't get no better than that, glory. Woo, because that's the everlasting life, church. Jesus was the life and the light of men, the glory of God. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14 says, We are the city. Listen to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2 and 3. The glory of God is Jesus. That's right, church. God put everything in Jesus. He began his work in him. And he finished his work in him. Praise God. Because Leviticus 24 and 2. The pure olive oil. Had to be beaten for the lamps to burn continually. God did not intend for your light to burn out. That's right church. Because we have everlasting life. Because we have Jesus. We have the oil, praise God. And we got our lamps. And they're burning bright, praise God. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 19 on the light. Matthew 19 and 29. John chapter 8 and verse 12. Church, that is amazing revelation knowledge right there. How God established his word with you and me. That he made us promises. And he kept that promise from the first day. Till when that day was completed. When it was the end of this age. When this age had done passed away. And God created a new heaven and a new earth. And that we are the city of God. Where the lamb is the light. Woo, glory, hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Right there church. In Revelation 21 and 23, we see that the light, the everlasting life, came from the glory of God, which was Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Let your light shine bright, church, that those around you may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven, who deserves all praise. All glory and all honor and all worship. Because he is worthy, church. He is worthy of all these things. It is because of him we live. Amen. Not only do we live, but we are promised everlasting life. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear precious friends. God bless you, church.